Hello and welcome to Excellence Academy. Let's look at the last method of differentiation known as implicit differentiation. All right, so let's see. Let's work on implicit differentiation. The uniqueness of implicit differentiation is that when it comes to differentiation by implicit um, differentiation, I'll have to differentiate x and y simultaneously. For other methods of differentiation, y is being expressed as a function of x. So you had y and x independently. Usually, y on the left-hand side of the equation and x on the right-hand side of the equation, just like this. Y being equal to x squared so here's y on the left hand part of the equation and x on the right hand part of the equation this, this is what we use for other methods of differentiation but when it comes to implicit x and y are being combined so i'm differentiating both x and y simultaneously such that if i differentiate x it remains the same but whenever i differentiate a y i will add the y over the x so that's the technique of differentiation by implicit method all right again i say whenever i differentiate x it remains the same but whenever you differentiate y you include the y over the x that's the concept between or behind um, implicit differentiation we'll take a very simple example and see what we get so for example let's say i have um 2x squared y plus 3y plus 2x squared okay x cubed y squared is equal to let's say 14x all right i'm asked to differentiate this now so observe that this is now different from what you've been doing before all right so you can see that x and y are being placed simultaneously here so how do i solve this now i said for implicit i'm differentiating both x and y simultaneously the concept now is this if i differentiate an x it remains the same if i differentiate a y i will include dy over dx that's a simple concept or idea behind implicit for this i'm having x squared if i differentiate x squared i should have what there 2x so you take this this and this observe if i differentiate x squared i'll get 2x so i'll take this this and this so 2 times 2x gives you 4x. 4x times y gives you 4xy. And I'm done with this. Usually, um, if I differentiate x normally, I should have what there? I should have 1. If I differentiate x, I have 1. Same concept here. If I differentiate y here, I'll have what there? I'll have 1. So it becomes this times this times this. So I'm having a plus there. 2 times x squared is x squared times 1 is 2x squared. So we said whenever I differentiate a y, put what there? dy over dx. So I'll attach dy over dx. So I just differentiated x here and then differentiated y here. And I'm having this. I'm done with this. Go to this next. So next up, I'm having a plus there. If I differentiate 3y, it gives you what there? 3. Alright, just like when you differentiate a 3x, if, it if I differentiate 3x, it gives me 3. In the same vein, if I differentiate 3y, it gives me 3. So I'm having 3 here. Since I'm differentiating a y, you don't put what there? dy over dx. So whenever you differentiate y, put dy over dx there. Next up, plus come to this, differentiate x cubed, it gives you 3x squared. If I differentiate x cubed, it gives me 3x squared. So I'll take this, this, and this. 2 times 3 gives you 6x squared, y squared. x squared, y squared. I'm done with this. Next up, come to y squared. If I differentiate y squared, it gives you 2y. So it becomes this times this times this. 2 times 2 gives you 4 into x cubed y 
I'm having x cube y. Since I'm differentiating the y now, I'll attach what there? The y all over dx is now equal to, if I differentiate um, 14x, I get what there? I get 14. So this now becomes my first um, method there. Next up, I'll factorize. All terms having the y over dx, I'll leave them on the left hand side. Any term not having the y over dx, I'll move it over to the right hand side. So this one here, 4xy does not have the y over dx, so I'll move it over. This one here, plus 6x squared y squared does not have the y over dx, so I'll move it over. So I'm left with just this one here. So I'm having um, 2x squared into the y over the x. I'm having this one here. So plus 3 into the y all over the x. Next up, I'm having this plus 4x cubed y into the y all over the x. All right, so these are the, these are the terms having the y over the x. It's now equal to, I'm having 14 here, so it's 14. This one did not have the y over the x, so move it over here. This was positive, crosses over the equality sign, becomes negative. So I'm having minus 4xy. Next up, I'm seeing this one here. This is plus 6x squared y squared. Move it over to the, over the equality sign, becomes a minus. So this is plus, comes here, becomes minus 6x squared y squared. So I have this. All right. Next up, I'll factorize the y over the x. So I'm having that dy over the x here is now equal to. So for this now, if I take out the y over the x here, I'm left with 2x squared. So it becomes 2x squared plus if I take away the y over the x here, I'm left with 3. So it becomes 3 here plus if I take out the y over the x here, it becomes 4x cubed y becomes 4x cubed y. It's now equal to, this gives you um, 14 minus 4xy minus 6 into x squared y cubed. So how do I get the over the x? Divide both sides by what you have here. So I will now have that the y all over the x is now equal to divide both sides by this so it becomes 14 minus 4xy minus 6x squared y cube all over what i have here 2x squared 2x squared right plus 3 plus 4x cubed y. So this now becomes the answer. Perhaps if you want, you could factorize here since they are all even. Okay, so factorize my numerator by dividing by 2. So I'm having 2 here. I'm having 2 here. Um, 14 divided by 2 gives you 7 minus 4 divided by 2 gives you 2 x y next up minus 6 divided by 2 gives you 3 so i'm having 3 into x squared y cube x squared y cube this all over this now becomes 2 x squared 2 x squared plus i'm having 3 plus I'm having 4x cubed y. So this is now my answer using, um, this is now the answer of this differentiation using implicit method.